uh, Living Water for Roatan. And believe it or not, we are back here in the sunrise and the sun is shining beautifully to, uh, today. Uh, this is uh, a pastor from First Baptist of Live Oak, uh, Steve Schweitzer. And uh, yesterday they arrived here in Roatan, Honduras, and I believe that uh, the sunshine was missing yesterday, right, it was, brother? Very, so <laughs> it was very missing big so. time, right? Uh, as a matter of fact, the downpour just came and suitcases got wet and just heard some great testimonies from this team about how God protected some of the stuff there that didn't get wet, like books and all, and clothes got wet. But just amazing how God uh, worked in their lives. But um, I wanted uh, to ask uh, uh, Steve about how did all this come about in your life as far as saying, I want to, I really would like to uh, uh, lead a, a senior adult group to, to Roatan, Honduras. So how did, how did that come about? Well, being the, the pastor, um, or one of the associate pastors, part of my responsibility is pastoral care, and, and that entails working with uh, senior adults, uh, seasoned adults as we like to call them. And um, uh, hearing about the church, our church is very active in mission work, hands-on mission work. And I believe uh, through my work with younger folks, uh, hearts are changed, not just by the folks that you work with, but your own hearts are changed. And I wanted that for our senior adults. They um, are very supportive with, with uh, mission work, but it was more from ascending. And I wanted to see them go. And so um, God really placed in my heart that I would like to see our senior adults take part in hands-on mission work because I, I am confident and through my experience and those that I've talked to that when you do hands-on mission work, um, your heart's changed forever. And so that's what I wanted to see for our, our older citizens. Right, right. Uh, so uh, uh, as a result of being here, I mean, you guys are here in Roatan, Honduras, yes. brother. Uh, um, what, what do you, uh, you probably expanded a little bit on that, but right. what, what are you hoping to accomplish uh, through, I think there's 16 of you guys that 16 came here. 16 of us, yeah, that came. Uh, we have a diverse group. We've, we've got a couple nurses who uh, we now are going to be able to Amen. work with the clinic, uh, three of us, and we've got some men that are uh, working with uh, uh, their hands as far as being in the trades, and so we'll be working on some homes. And then we have teachers here as well, so uh, we've got a diverse group and, and hopefully uh, in amongst doing the, the work uh, on homes and things like that and, and also the clinic, we hope that we can disciple some, some, some folks and uh, get involved with uh, uh, not only witnessing and sharing Christ, but also for those babes in Christ to help them grow in their walk with Jesus. Interesting too, the devotion today uh, it sounded like that people, God's already set them in kind of an uncomfortable position and they're yes. saying, hey, you know what, we got to wait on God That's because right. uh, we never expected the rain to come and as a result of all of this here, so yeah. it sounds like... Uh, God taught us real early uh, <laughs> with the rain coming over, uh, with our luggage getting wet, that uh, we are on His time and He Amen. is teaching us through all things and as we shared this morning. Even through rain-soaked clothes and all that, uh, he's, he's teaching us. So we're happy about that. Well, Brother Steve, uh, this is Sunday. We're getting ready yes. to go to church. Uh, what individually would you like to see God do in your life, in, in your life, heart, yeah. throughout this week? Yeah. I think he's already started that. Um, when I plan, I like to have things planned out and set. And, and I know working with you over the last few months, uh, I didn't see things coming together like I thought they should. And so I was really concerned about what we were going to be doing down here. But it, just in the last uh, several days and even several hours, as we saw yesterday, uh -huh. God has opened up the doors and, and it was on his time schedule. So he was teaching me uh, that this is his week, it's not mine. And I think we all, it's kind of our theme is that uh, we want to make sure that we're on God's agenda, we're on God's timing, and whatever he wants done, we are uh, just to step up and say, send me, let me do it. Brother, love you. Love you too. Look forward to spending the week with you. I do too.